while many of us were binging TV shows or making banana bread during the pandemic, my super smart bestie was busy writing books. His latest, titled Wolf Point, is the sequel to his well-received crime novel, The Unspoken. Back with us this morning is the very impressive New York Times bestselling author, podcast host, and physician, Dr. Ian Smith. Hey, OG, it's so good to see you. I wish I was there in person with you guys, but at least I can see you uh, on my computer screen. Well, that's this is this is the best we can get for now. I'm, I'm going to take whatever chance I get to talk to Dr. Ian, I'll take it. And, and Dr. Ian, let me just say that you are every Nigerian parent's dream child, because not only do you have the doctor part handled, You've even gone beyond with your five million books. It's five. How many are we at now? Because I, I, I can't keep count, Dr. Ian. How many do we have now? Well, Wolf Point is my 21st book. Uh, very different, as you know, than all of You've covered almost all my books, by the way. But mm -hmm. this, is, this book is based on my Ash Kane uh, detective mystery series, uh, which un The Unspoken was the original book. This is number two. Um, and it's a great case. It's a great, great case about a politician, well-connected politician who was found half-submerged in the Chicago River at Wolf Point, which is where the three branches of the Chicago River meet. Mm -hmm. um, and Ash Kane is hired to find out what really happened to this well-connected uh, political figure. So it's a lot of fun and um, it's a great ride and people are already loving it. Of course, you're involved. Of course, people are gonna love it, Dr. Ian. But let me, let me ask you this. It's based on a case, but is it a real case? Yeah, so it was inspired, you know, Inst you know okay. Yeah, it was inspired by something that happened several years ago okay. um, in, in which um, a politician was found uh, in this, this predicament. I, of course, you know, I don't use his name. I make up the story, mm -hmm. and it's just kind of like, what if, what if, which is what uh, creative people often do. Um, but the beauty of the story is that our character, our main character, Ash Kane, who is this former detective with Chicago Police Department, uh, resists taking on the case at first. He doesn't want to touch it. He thinks it's too hot. He takes it on, and it just kind of, one twist after another. It's the kind of book that I like to read or the mm -hmm. kind of streaming show I like to watch. So it's a lot of plot twists and it's a lot of whodunits. So you got to read very carefully. And I'm sure that for Ash Kane to get to the truth, a lot of digging had to be done. But being the hard hitting journalist that I am not, Dr. Ian, I dug deep all the way to the back of the book because you literally transformed from Dr. Ian to Detective Ian. Listen, Dr. <laughs> Ian, the, the whole like GQ ness of this look, seriously. <laughs> I'm just well, saying. You know, well, I'm putting on my fiction hat, you know what I mean? My detective kind of noir hat. And so it's a little different than me being buttoned up as I the doctor. We saw what you did there. I saw what you did. That's how that's my way of saying I see you, Dr. Ian. I see you, detective hat. Well, you're from Chicago. It serves as a backdrop for these stories. So when these books become a TV series or a movie, which we're gonna be, I'm gonna be the extra on. Would you want to shoot in Chicago, Dr. Ian? Because we have to think about these things if we're planning for the future, like, because it's big things coming, Dr. Ian, and I'm writing well, those okay, coattails. Here's, here's the good news, you ready for this? What? It's already been optioned to be a TV series. We're in the final stage of negotiation. Hopefully we're gonna shoot it in Chicago because Chicago is a character. When you read Wolf Point, anyone who's not been to Chicago, it's like a roadmap. The streets all go in the right direction, all the restaurants, People love it because they feel like they were in the city of Chicago for the entire book. And on my Instagram page, uh, go to at Dr. Ian Smith, spell the doctor out, I-A-N Smith. I have a six question kind of contest. Whoever can answer those six questions correctly about Chicago and the book will get $1,000. So it's a little detective mystery within the mystery. Ooh, I'm about to get $1,000 from you because I know someone who knows <laughs> Chicago really well. He's standing in front of me right now. So $1,000 is coming my way. <laughs> Dr. Ian, oh, just, just cash up or Venmo it to me now because I'm going to win anyway. Well, Dr. All Ian, right, you as you mentioned, like you've been our go-to health and fitness expert like for years and years and we've gone through like so many of your books. So I, was, I figured since you're here, might as well ask some like health related questions, right? Your thoughts sure. on the vibrate, those vibrating board thingies because I have one. Yeah, well, your name. Interesting. It's interesting. I would say yay, but oh. I say be careful of the promises. Uh, yes, it, from a physiological standpoint, it makes sense. It can do something. But some people think that it's going to cause them to lose 20 pounds or all of a sudden get ripped abs. It's not going to do that, but it will help you. Okay, I was going to say because I have not seen the ripped abs. I've been doing it, but I was like, hmm, where are my rip, ripped abs at? Well, That's okay, my so next book. I got the ripped abs for you. Oh, you do? <laughs> okay, yeah. I cannot wait. Okay, so three vitamins we have to take every single day you recommend. Must take. C, D, and E. Great for your immune system, particularly during this, these times of, of the COVID pandemic. Oh, oh, speaking of the pandemic, Dr. Ian, you're also involved with the National Mental Health Association to get people vaccinated. So talk to us about that. That's right. It's called Flex for Checks. That's with an X. Flex for Checks. 
It's about getting people to get vaccinated, particularly underserved people. Uh, it's $100 uh, that they're giving people to help them go to wherever they are uh, to get both shots. Uh, it's an amazing program. The government gave $11 million to the National Minority Health Association for this program. So we encourage everyone, of course, please get vaccinated. Go to flexforchecks.com forward slash Dr. Ian Smith and find out how you, your family, anyone you know can go get vaccinated and get 100 bucks for both shots. Hmm. Okay, Dr. Ian. So how, how can I be like you if and when I grow up? Seriously, Dr. Ian, because there's nothing you, you, you do that's not successful, that does not just like blow up. Like you are just perfect at everything you do. So I don't even know how this even works. How are you even, are you even human? That's not true. You know what? Here, here are my, my guide tips. One, always follow your passion. When mm. you're passionate about what you do, it's not work. And number two, never, ever be afraid to lose and fail. I lose and fail all the time, but I use those as lessons. You see me winning a lot, but I lose and fail in order to get to the win. So those two guidance, uh, those two guidance posts are, are great for my career, and I think anybody. Okay, well, as you tell about the losing and failing, but okay. Uh, I'll go with it. <laughs> Dr. Ian, always great to see you. As you know, his book, Wolf Point, is now available everywhere books are sold. See you soon, Dr. Ian. And remember, I we're supposed to work you. together on the TV part. Don't forget. You'll be in it. Oh, that's what he said. And I'm excited. I said, even as an extra, I'll take it. I'm not, I'm not yeah. like... For that position. You know, you know, Dr. Ian, I was in Law and Order SVU. If you need an extra, I'm I good do. to go. Well, you know, <laughs> Dan, you came up the last time we were talking about the TV series because uh -huh. I said Dan has an IMDb page. Yeah. I don't have one. And he said he was going to help me get an IMDb page. That's how this came up. But listen, I'm you from guys Chicago. You can be so. on it. Oh, thank you. There we you go. Oh, you're from Chicago, Hazel? I'm from Chicago. Oh, word. Ian, I don't want See? anything from you. Just congratulations and oh, ignore these you. weirdos. I love <laughs> congratulations, <laughs> but I also Congrats. want them from you. Yeah. Looking forward to reading your book, though, because Chicago's my hometown, so. Hey, you go, Dr. You Ian. Take care. Yay. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> Guy does it all. Oh, seriously. Read, seriously. Yeah. All right, I lied. I do want to learn how to write. Oh, so I'm just saying, <laughs> you know what? I think there's uh -huh. something to writing a book. Yes. Yeah. Or yeah. seven, or 21. Does, uh, 20, 21. <laughs> right. Let me tell you. Man.